Hey guys, Kiku here today, and today I want to talk about Skype 4. Now, this is the all-new Skype for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as, you know, Windows Mobile, Wi-Fi Phone, stuff like that. So, Skype 4 is the newest addition to the Voice over IP client, and they are a proud sponsor of the uh, Tech World Show. So, uh, you know, I want to review the product and give my opinions on Skype 4. So, you can go over to Skype.com or Skype.com slash download, find your version for whatever operating system you have, and go ahead and download it. If you don't know what Skype is, it's a voice over IP, meaning it communicates like voice to voice or free to free Skype to Skype calls or IM. So it has free to Skype 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 to Skype calls, free instant messaging, free video call, and on the paid side you can get voicemail, you can get you can call landlines and mobile phones as well as send M SMS to mobile phones. I've been a user of you know both the free stuff and I've used uh, I've gotten some credit to buy. Uh, I bought some credit to uh, call house phones and send them SMS text messages to people in the states, and it works great. Uh, so if you're like you know if you know Vonage stuff like that, it's pretty equivalent, but it's all on your computer. Forward calls to a forward calls to a phone when you're offline. So if you're on Skype and you really you know n have an important call coming and you know you're going to be out, you can forward it to your cell phone or something like that. It works great. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff you can get. You can get pay as you go. Like it's free. These features, these three features to my left are all free. But if you want to get uh, the upgrade to more uh, more features, you can go pay as you go. You can pay great monthly fees. Like they have awesome monthly fees, so uh, you can check that out for yourself. They're like ten dollars a month, and I get I think you get like free calling to all of the United States. Really, really cheap. Uh, so with Skype 4, they have bigger video, so enhanced video. I think it's like I'm not sure what the resolution is. I, I don't. I want to say 640 by 40 for high quality. I'm not sure. Best ever sound. Sound. They've switched to a whole new codec. Save bandwidth, and just get ultimate. You know. Uh, just great quality, clear quality, uh, great sound, uh, and they've changed the interface a lot. So with that, download it, and I'm just going to show you the interface here. So this is it right here, Skype 4. Now here's your contacts pane. This is everything dealing with your contacts, your chat box. Everything has been moved into one box. So this is your chat. You can have your call right here. This is your contacts information. This is my friend Wee493 who is on at the moment while I'm recording this video. And it shows information like uh, just, you know, what time it is where they are where they're at um, I think that's actually wrong because I you have to set the right place and time where they're at so shows their uh, you know their uh, all their other information male female stuff like that uh, if they have a mobile phone but I'm not going to click that because I don't want to reveal his mobile number but um, video calls right there you can get call quality information like I said they switched to a whole new codec so it's awesome and um, also uh, if you want to switch it, you can hit this button right here, which is something they added, which is a really cool tool called Compact View. That's that, 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 what that's going to do is going to split it into two, so you can hide that whatever. You can make this smaller if you want. So it really does give you custom ability option. If I click it again, I'll make it all one window. So I like to split it up a little bit. Um, so this will show all my history of chat, what I've talked to him about, stuff like that. And I can also, here's my contacts pane. So this is, they've changed a couple icons, like for... Uh, landlines, it's a green icon now, and you know, just they changed all of this into one pane. Now, if you click conversation, this is really cool. It shows a history of all your conversations from today, yesterday, etc., and shows you like how many messages you've gotten there, stuff like that. Now, if you click this new, you can add a contact, do a group conversation, search. Now, the search they uh, you beefed it up, they can search through conversations, through contacts, through everything. So, if it's just type in we 493 show me all the recent conversations I've had with them and the contact itself so this is your status thing you can just change it up here and I'm just gonna change it to recording a video on Skype 4 and I'm just gonna hit enter and then it changes your mood you can personalize change your picture edit your profile stuff like that and like I said you can call cheaply to mobile phones and landlines if you pay for it that's the paid feature uh, all your buttons here are pretty much the same from the old one. Uh, if you go to call, like I said, the call quality and audio quality, video quality, all great. Video, I've tried it out. Very little lag, very good quality. Sound is awesome, like I said. Now, if we go to tools and options, they've changed this around a little bit too, along with the interface. And just wait for that to open real quick. And the options are open. They're back here. Okay, so same type thing. They have some. Uh, you can visual style of the window. You can have it Skype or the classic windows. It's up to you. So look if you like this little border, I'm guessing, or you can just I like it like that, the cool Skype look. Um, you can change a couple other things, audio settings, stuff like that, sounds, video settings, and all that type of stuff. So, which, and you can change the other stuff like only allow calls from people in my contact list or anyone. 
you have your block contacts. If you go into the advanced, it's pretty much the same. It just has some other things. Automatically start extras. You Skype the call to links on web, stuff like that. And you can even set hotkeys if you want, so that's cool too. Okay, so with that, Skype 4, huge improvements to video. I would show you a video call right now, but I don't know if anybody really, I don't know how to get anybody in advance to call. I should have done that. But video call is great, guys, the quality, and you can adjust the size of your video, so it's really, really nice. Um, really recommend you try out Skype 4 if you're looking for, uh, just, you know, a voice over IP client to call friends. I have a lot of contacts you want to add me. Search Kid Guru. Uh, here's your mood thing. You can set that to, or your status, I should say, not your mood. And he says, you see, I have a lot of contacts, so. Um, and a great add-on to this, of course, Pamela, who I've talked about in the past, are also sponsors to help record your Skype calls for podcasts and stuff like that. It w still works. It still integrates nicely. Uh, I haven't any any problems with Skype 4 and Pamela. They all work together nicely. So yeah, if you're just worried about you know Pamela not working, trust me, it'll still work. Or I haven't had any problems with that. Uh, some other cool features you can just zoom out and in of the contact details. You can go through other contact details if you click this or something like that. I'll go through other details. So yeah, um, and just add new people if you want to look for other people in, uh, to go into an IM like group conversation. You can do that too. And it works really great with this whole tab type thing. So if I was to, like, for example, let's see here. If I was trying to talk to my other friend, or if I tried to message Tyler and I said send I am, it would move it into another window. So now if I was to hit the, if I was to go off of compact view, it would integrate them all into one. What I mean by this is if I was to click, so right here, this is Tyler, right? Now if I, see, so it makes that compact, takes away that whole bar up here. Now, if I was to click on somebody like, where's, uh, let me see, if I was to go to Wii 493 and I was to click on his conversation, it would just open up him right here and, and this whole panel right here. So, easily switch between contacts. It's kind of like, if you're used to that whole type tabbed interface, works great. And you can go in your conversations, like I said here, and just easily switch between different people. So, yeah, it's all great. It works awesome. Um, I like it. Real, like, Skype 4 is awesome, guys. It's, uh... <laughs> you know, that's the best way to describe it. Quality is awesome, amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. You can download Skype at skype.com slash download. Um, yeah, so if you want to add me, go ahead and add me, uh, Kid Guru. Uh, and don't forget to check out the website, adrianstech.com. And email me at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.